Oh, good morning, lovelies, and um, <clears throat> welcome to Tarot Tuesday. Early, early start today, so excuse the slightly hoarse tone of my voice. I thought we'd talk this week about the Druidcraft Tarot, because uh, it's my go-to deck. So I have a, well, I'm kind of organised this week. I have a regular Rider weight deck, which I've spoken about before. Um, and I do use the uh, the format of the tarot. I like the tarot and the way it works. And um, I have spoken in another video about the differences between tarot and oracle. Um, I'll tag it underneath in case you in case you need to find out. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to work like everyone knows the difference. So my go-to tarot deck is the Druid Craft. And we're going to do the whole focus malarkey again. So I've had my Druidcraft Tarot for, I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't even like to guess, 15 years, maybe longer. It all just shows how old I am. So, <laughs> meh. So there's that. <clears throat> so we'll start with the standard. Uh, any deck that is that has Tarot in the title, let me get my disclaimer in because you know how I love those. Any properly non-pirate printed deck that has Tarot in the title um, has to fit the tarot format. It's something to do with copywriting. That is the sum total of my knowledge on that one. So the Druid Craft Tarot breaks down in exactly the same way as a standard tarot deck. It is major and minor arcana, breaks down the minor arcana breakdown into four, um, and the, you know, you've got your court cards on the end. All similar format, very, very similar. What I like with the way that um, that we've got other tarot decks, other designs of tarot decks, is that we can find them with our own imagery or imagery that uh, suits our path, that resonates with us. And I say often when I talk about oracle decks that I really like the way that you get the occasional card within an oracle that kind of tips its hat and nods back to the artwork of, of Pamela and what she did with sort of with the Rider Waite. Um, I've already soapboxed before about how the Rider Waite Tarot is called the Rider Waite Tarot and it should be called the Rider Waite Smith because Pamela Smith did all the artwork, blah, 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 blah. Um, but there's no, the, the symbolism that, that Pamela put into the tarot is kind of like the, the building blocks of, of what we have of tarot and oracle today. But that that is my, you know, go around the houses on the, on my same thoughts on that one again. So the Rider Waite Tarot is made up exactly the same, no words. The Druid Craft Tarot is made up in exactly the same format. So let's do, let's do the initial, shall we? I had a quick look on Amazon um, before I spoke about this one and it is my understanding that we are still getting the Druid Craft Tarot in this format, in this kind of boxing. The box is a good hard hard-backed, hard -backed box. Uh, it's in a matte finish. The book um, is quite long. The book is 80 pages long and it is in this lovely um, sepia print. So you get this lovely sepia print and you get for, I think the layout is all the same. So for the description of each cards, as you just saw, you get like, get that in focus, you get like half a page of writing and the image of the cards. Now that is the same, I'm just gonna double check that when I say it out loud. That is the same for the court cards as well. And then when it comes to the major arcana, you get a whole page. But the so the other thing that's really nice is you get a message at the top of the page with the major arcana. So you get a couple of sentences about what the message is, then you get the keywords. So the basic kind of like bullet points as to what this card represents. And then you get a meaning and a reverse meaning for those of you that read with the cards upside down or how they fall or, or however. Um, so, there's, so there's that, that's how it's laid out. The beginning of the book gives you a breakdown on a little breakdown on about druidry and druid craft and it gives you uh, an intro into like Pythagoras and numerology 
So it's quite it's quite interesting. Um, it tells you, I'm just trying to have a look at the, it gives you a little bit of a breakdown about the cards. The other things that it does is it also gives you a list of the keywords associated with uh, the numbers, if you like. So I'm not sure if you can see that. So yeah, it gives you a list of, of the numbers. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and what each number kind of re represents, because obviously Pythagoras is so tied to, to numerology. Um, you get a couple of reading spreads in this little booklet as well. It's, it's, I love this deck, it's my favourite, so I'm, I'm slightly biased when I talk about it. Um, as is ever, Grumble. Now I've said before in, in my video where I spoke about the differences between the Tower and the Oracle, my Rider Waite is a perfect size. It's not standard size by any means. I've got the little one in the tin and the Rider Waite is, my hand, <laughs> is sort of deck size, perfect. And as is ever, my Grumble. This is, this is the, the Druid Craft deck. It's just huge. Um, it, it's no less my favorite because of this, but it's still very, very big. So let's show you a couple of the cards. The energy of the Druid Craft Tarot is um, absolutely fantastic. It really is. It's got so much on offer for sort of, um, sort of paganism and druidry and wicca and witchcraft the symbols are just everything we want really or everything that i want it's definitely definitely my go-to deck and it has some of the major arcanas the they've changed the names slightly but it, it's all still it's all still representative so there's a lot, you'll find a lot of feminine energy in this deck as well, which is which is really nice, obviously, to get some... It's nice to get the feminine divine and get the energy of the feminine divine, but it's also nice to just see more female-centric... Anything. It's nice to see more female-centric anything, isn't it? Just to sort of even everything up. But, so... It's, it's just such a beautiful deck. Now, I do know people, and I think I've said this before, now I do know people who have gone into um, Hobbycraft and places like that and bought the little curved cutters and trimmed off all the white edges up here and then trimmed them off to make the cards that little bit smaller. Um, I've said before, absolutely do whatever makes you comfortable, um, but I, I just, I couldn't. I just, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. Within, there are two cards within this deck that are what I think are sort of markedly different than the traditional tarot. So I've separated those, see, hence my slightly organisedness. This is the judgment card within the tarot, the traditional tarot. And it's number 20 in the major arcana. And this is it. And get that in focus. This is it in the Druid Craft. Um, so obviously you've still got the, the, sort of the little child and the aspects, but what I like about this this card is that it seems less harsh in a strange way. I find that sometimes get them up. I find that sometimes the the judgment card can pop up in a reading, and it it can be quite a hard card. The other card is Temperance. So this is the Temperance card in the standard tarot. And this is how it translates in the Druidcraft tarot. A real beautiful, beautiful card. And the meaning of this one is, is different too, as, as you can imagine. Um, but still with aspects of kind of being being kind for yourself and taking time for you but depending on how it how it falls in the reading it, it definitely comes out meaning different things so those are the two sort of differences that I think it's worth pointing out um so yeah so that's the Druidcraft Tarot I've tried to stay relatively on topic I'm getting very good at staying on topic in these uh 
Tuesday morning rambles. I will, as always, leave all links and anything below. And um, if I get myself organised and write a blog post on it at the same time, I'll put it underneath. But we'll see. It is the summer holidays, so we will see how it goes. I hope everyone is well and safe and um, enjoying your summer break if you are on one. And um, I'll see you all later. Bright blessings, everyone.